Sir Winston. All right, Sir Winston. 12 to 1 right now. I kind of like this one here. I kind of like Sir Winston. All right, Joel Rosario riding him. He's got a Belmont win in his past. He won in 2014 above Tonalist. Um, the horse was sired by Awesome again. Decent breeding, Awesome again, uh, former Breeders' Cup Classic champion. Uh, but his mother's father is a Fleet Alex. The Fleet Alex uh, won the Belmont Stakes himself back in 2005. So some good breeding from this horse. A uh, good experienced jockey. He's trained by Mark Casey. Now here's another reason why I like this horse though. When you look into his history, uh, he was fifth in the Tampa Bay Derby. He was, uh, you know, granted he was beaten by Tacitus in that one. Um, he uh, ran in the Bluegrass Stakes. He was seventh in that one. Didn't have a good run in that race. However, he is back, uh, or sorry, came back in Belmont in the Peter Pan. <clears throat> in the Peter Pan, horse showed up, all right? He didn't get that win. He lost to a uh, Global Campaign. Now, if Global Campaign were running in this race, I would most likely pick him as my winner of this uh, Belmont Stakes, but uh, the owners of Global Campaign opted to not run him in this one, and so maybe we'll see him in the Haskell, uh, maybe in the Jim Dandy. Um, but at any rate, Global Campaign's not here. The, the horse running second in the Peter Pan was Sir Winston, one length off the leader Global Campaign, ran a great time in that race, uh, a mile and an eighth in one minute, 46 seconds. Uh, Joel Rosario was riding him in that one. So Rosario obviously believes in this horse. He had the opportunity to take other horses in this one, but Rosario chose this one. That tells you something there when a guy like Rosario goes with the horse when he's got multiple choice to who to ride. So I'm not picking him as the winner um, just yet. I am saying that I, I do like the horse. I do like the jockey. I like his chances. I like his breeding. And he's coming off a great race in the Peter Pan. And it may be time for him to explode in this one right here. He um, came off the pace storming behind uh, Global Campaign in um, the Peter Pan. He's going to be off the pace again in this one. Uh, regardless of what the pace is, I think he's going to be competitive. Uh, the uh, Belmont tends to figure uh, our favorite horses coming off the pace. It's tough to go wire to wire, even though we've seen it done a couple of times in the past few years. So Sir Winston, right strategy, good jockey, uh, good breeding, uh, watch out.